What's up everybody? This is Andrew with Programming Liftoff and today we are going to learn how to create a web page using GitLab and GitLab Pages. Now a lot of you guys may be coming from GitHub and maybe you've even created a website with GitHub Pages. If you have, um, you'll find that GitLab is pretty similar in how you can create a web page and how easy it is to create uh, web pages and host them for free. Um, so remember sites like GitLab and GitHub only allow uh, hosting for static sites um, but static sites are still really powerful and you can do a lot with them so let's get started first uh, click the sign in register button at the top you'll want to be on uh, uh, git, gitlab.com or about.gitlab.com so you'll click sign in or register um, if you haven't made an account with GitLab yet, click register and uh, fill out this information. If you have, you can click sign in and sign, go ahead and sign in. Alright, so once you get signed in, you'll have some options. Uh, you can go ahead and create the, uh, click the create a project uh, button or you can uh, go up to the top menu and select new project. Alright, and we'll pick a project name for this. We'll call it my first GitLab pages website. It's a little long, but that's alright and then we'll say for the description go ahead and enter my first website on GitLab pages and you can go ahead and enter anything you want and that field is optional as well and then we'll select the uh, visibility level um, you can make a GitLab pages site private which means people can still see uh, your web page code um, but they can't see any any files that you might commit that are just like a, a text file or something non related to your website um, but for this tutorial we'll go ahead and make it a public repository um, and one neat thing about GitLab um, where it, it's kinda different from GitHub is that GitLab allows um, unlimited private repositories for free so that's that's really neat like that right there might be a reason to to go ahead and switch from using GitHub to GitLab um, um, they're really GitLab is really trying to uh, trying to compete and trying to get more users um, from GitHub so that's one of the features that um, is really nice and uh, could be a reason to put some of your projects on GitLab. Um, and in addition, GitLab has uh, lots of other cool features that you'll want to explore. Um, it's a really powerful uh, site and they've got really powerful software. So um, definitely explore uh, GitLab, but for now we'll just be, uh, we'll be creating a web page. So select public and click create project. Alright, um, you can ignore this warning at the top. It's saying uh, you haven't added a SSH key. For this tutorial, we're, uh, we're not going to, so we'll just click Remind Later. Alright, so now we'll want to create our, our index.html. So we can click this plus and create a new file. And we'll name it index.html. So this will be the file that is shown to the user. Um, when someone visits the web page and we'll just put an h1 tag in here and say hello world exclamation point alright and then for our commit message we'll say add index.html and click commit changes alright so now we have our index.html file, so we'll click on, on the repository name up here to go back to the root of the repository. 
and now we need to create a file that tells GitLab, hey, this is a GitLab pages repository. You should uh, create a website and uh, create a link so that people can visit the website. Uh, so to do that, we'll need to create another file. So click the plus new file. And um, this is a little, uh, th they have special syntax for, for creating this configuration file. Um, so if you go ahead and go to this URL right here, it's a really helpful post on getting started with GitLab pages. Um, so you can go ahead and come here and if you go to step two, uh, they discuss the configuration file. Um, so you can go ahead and come here and copy this uh, configuration file name and paste it in here for the file name. And then you can copy this, um, the configuration itself and paste it right here. And you'll notice that this is for a plain HTML site. Um, they also support uh, static site generators such as Jekyll and Hexo. Um, so if you want to create one of those more advanced uh, static sites, you can go ahead and use the config uh, for that uh, static site generator. But for now, we'll just be creating a uh, HTML site. Um, you can see what the, uh, what, the uh, what the configuration does is it makes a public directory, copies all the files into that directory, and um, and then it publishes it, uh, creates a path for it so that it can be uh, served and viewed publicly on the web. And you'll see it does this for the master branch. Alright, so we can say for our commit message we can say add GitLab pages config and we'll commit those changes. Alright, so now we have our index.html as well as our configuration. Alright, so the next thing uh, we'll do is we'll uh, go to the left sidebar and if you scroll down you can click on the CI slash CD um, and you can see okay we have um, it's, it's running uh, this task so it's, it's building the uh, pages the GitLab pages site right now so we'll wait until that finishes and it can take a minute or two so you just have to be a little patient, you can refresh the page to check the status of it. Alright, and you can see that it passed, so it built the pages site and then it deployed it um, externally uh, to a uh, public URL. Um, so now you might be wondering, what is this URL that I can go visit my site at? So we'll take a look at that next. So if you open up a new tab, and then you'll want to type HTTPS. So it's nice that they give you a, a secured uh, SSL uh, URL. Uh, then two, two slashes. And then you'll want to type your username for GitLab. So mine is programming liftoff and then you'll want to do uh, type dot gitlab dot io and then a slash and then my first gitlab pages website and See, I 
typed in the URL wrong. Alright, and it's giving me a 404 error right now, which means um, either this URL is incorrect or the or the site hasn't isn't uh, isn't being served yet. Um, so let me just double check this URL. And that looks like it's right. Um, so we'll just give it a second. Um, could be still uh, still deploying um, to the public internet. Alright, so if we refresh it now, you can see uh, the text is hello world, um, which is the contents of our index.html. So you can go ahead and change the index.html to whatever uh, text, whatever content you like. You can also upload a complete website. Um, you would just go here. Uh, you'll want to leave this. Uh, this config file here, but you can go ahead and upload if you have a website with JavaScript and CSS and HTML You can just upload that directly to this repository and then you'll be able to uh, once uh, once you go and verify that the uh, that the um, that the pipeline has uh, completed and that the uh, site has been built and deployed then you can go ahead and visit your uh, your URL and uh, visit and see your see your web page. So um, that's pretty pretty cool that uh, GitLab allows you to do all this for free. Um, so definitely check it out, play around with it, and if you create any cool sites or want to share want to share your your website with other people, go ahead and post your URL in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and have fun exploring GitLab pages.